everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's time for a recap of the third episode of Vanderpump Rules. The episode starts off with Katie and all her friends seated at a table to celebrate her, you know, engagement and Katie wanting to invite them all to be her bridesmaids and she doesn't name a maid of honor in the scene. What was really interesting about it in particular was the fact that Brittany brought up her issues with Jax that were being lamented over episodes one and two and Stassi offered her some sort of advice or a joke on it and she tells us like, hey, this isn't awkward for me at all. Like, I don't even see Jax as an ex-boyfriend. I see him as like some ape with a really cool girlfriend. And I was like, damn girl, tell us how you really feel. Stassi and Kristen cry of happiness at being asked to be bridesmaids for Katie. And so Stassi eventually breaks the ice and asks, hey, like, what about Ariana? Why isn't she at this table? And whiny Katie was like, well, Ariana can't be my bridesmaid because I saw her talking to Lala. That means she took Lala's side. If she's Lala's friend, then she can't be my bridesmaid. I roll. <laughs> How old is Katie, you guys? Like, is everyone else drinking age and Katie's like 17 or something? Because her maturity level is like embarrassing. And then over at Sir, Lisa pulls James aside to discuss headlock gate with him, to which he like, you know, says again, the guy put me in a headlock because he's jealous of me. Lisa's like, listen, James, you are not Calvin Harris. And again, it flies over his head. He, and he insists that the whole entire fight was just because the guy was jealous of him. And um, I thought based on the previews that Lisa would finally fire him here, but it turns out that James was telling the truth. Not that the guy was jealous or whatever, but that he did not instigate the fight. And so Lisa's like, okay, you're off the hook this time, but I swear to God, James, the next time you are out of here and we'll have to wait and see if she actually keeps that promise. I highly doubt she will based on the ratings game we're playing here. Tom Schwartz took home the ultimate MVP of the hazing awards when he invited, what's the other guy's name, Sandoval and Jax Taylor over to his home to invite them to be groomsmen at his wedding. Sandoval's new hair thingy that he's doing with a little braid was so hot on him. Oh my goodness, especially when you compare it to his single mom, like soccer, can I talk to your manager haircut? Like he was looking good this episode. And it was, he cooked them like this beautiful dinner steak, like uh, mashed potatoes and stuff like that. And then at the end of it, like I'm gagging, just thinking about it, he gives them photos to, sh to show that the steak that they were, that they were eating was, you to show that the steak that they were eating was marinated in his in his ass crack after a long jog. I, I need like a ginger ale right now. I don't know how those guys like operate or function. Like the fact that they did not vomit is just incredible to me because I didn't eat that and I'm just telling you what happened and I want to vomit so bad. He was like, yeah, I was jogging around and then I shoved that shit in my ass and I fed it to you and they were like, oh, this is awesome. What kind of people are these? <sighs> okay, and then back at Sir, Lala approached Sheena like behind the restaurant to kind of discuss um, giving her a formal apology for the way that she behaved at that first episode like um, VIP party with James, like insulting everyone's summer bodies, blah, 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 blah. And Sheena is such a loyal friend. She's like, you know what, Lala, the person you need to apologize to is Katie. And she said the same thing to James as well when he tried to apologize to her and I she everyone needs a friend like Sheena like honestly she's so loyal and ride or die like she doesn't even care what you say to her she cares what you say to her friends and she's like I can't be friends with you if you're gonna treat my friends that way and I stick up for my friends. Lala was like okay fine whatever I'm gonna approach Katie next and so that conversation sort of just ends there and you guys not even like five seconds after Lala talks to Sheena Sheena runs over to whiny Katie to tell her everything that happened and Katie's like she's so fake her apology is so fake she's got a marriage a boyfriend. I'm not gonna accept her apology. And um, they sort of laugh about it. And then you would think that was enough for Katie, the fact that like Sheena's gonna lose a friend for her. But no, it's not. Because guess what? At the end of her shift, Katie spotted Sheena and Lala allegedly giggling together at the bar. And now all of a sudden, Sheena is back on her shit list. Katie, again, how old are you, girl? In an attempt to be the bigger person, yet again, Lala pulls Katie aside this time to apologize to her. And Katie pretty much just takes this opportunity to call her a whore and it's like you know what 
even if Lala is screwing everybody under the sun, why would that make you mad at her? Or like, why would that give you the right to treat her like shit? That's just bullying. Who cares what she's doing with her cooch? It's her damn cooch. Like seriously, Katie was like, well, I don't want to accept your apology because you're fake and you sleep with married men and he buys you all these like fancy things that you have. And Lala was like, you know what? That car, I lease it. 300 and something a month. Every other designer thing they're saying my mom bought it. It was like, okay, Lala, like you didn't even need to tell whiny Katie all this stuff. Like it's none of her business. The fact that she is salty with you over the things that you have says a lot more about her than it'll ever say about you. Trust and believe that. The way Katie is so invested in Lala's dating life, you would think that Lala once cheated on her or something. Like seriously, give it up. Later on in the episode, Katie and Tom um, throw a housewarming party and pretty much everyone is invited to attend and attend, except for Lala and James. So at the housewarming party, Stassi is in the kitchen and Brittany comes over, asks her how she's doing and she suddenly just breaks down and admits to being embarrassed at how on and off her relationship with her boyfriend Patrick is. And she actually starts crying and it was really creepy because first of all, Stassi's got a really big face, like it's really circular and this isn't to be shady. I think Stassi's pretty, but she's got a big face. And like this face of hers just did not move while she was crying. It looked like, you know, a mix of Kim Kardashian crying and Farah from Team Mom OG where it was just a mess and um, it was a really cute moment between the two Jax Taylor exes where Brittany was like listen girl you can call me at three in the morning two in the morning whatever time you want I will never be tired of helping you through this relationship and then over at James's house Lala comes over to discuss like what went down when she tried to apologize to both Sheena and Katie and James I think he sort of admitted to believing the rumor that she's with a married man because this is what he said he was like you know what like this whole like Lala sleeping with married men thing like like, I mean, yeah, she hasn't told me much about her boyfriend and that's kind of strange, but I don't press her on it because she's my only friend that I have here. And to me, that's like someone being like, yeah, she probably is, but uh, you know, this is my one friend, so I'm not gonna like rock the boat here. And shortly after this happens, we see Katie invite the girls over to her ridiculously decorated bedroom. I, it looks like something like a freshman at uni would have like um, as their dorm room. It was a hot ass mess. So she talks about like Lala trying to apologize and it was so funny because Sheena is talking to someone else in the kitchen at this time about how she will not be friends with someone who treats her own friends like shit because she's so loyal. While Katie is simultaneously telling, you know, Stassi and Kristen and them that Sheena is disloyal because she saw her laughing at the bar with Lala. And it was just such a mess because at some point Sheena walks in the room, the other girls leave, and then Katie confronts her like, I saw you laughing with her. That means you don't appreciate my friendship. Right? my friend if you're gonna laugh at someone at the bar like she works with this girl like even if you dislike your co-worker and god knows a lot of us do you still have to be nice with them and like you know friendly and cordial with them because it is a place of business it is not like you know a place where you decide your shifts based on who the hell katie is fighting with that week so anyway that's pretty much where the whole entire episode ends and you guys i really do feel sorry for sheena because pretty much since the moment we've met her she's been the outcast trying to be friends with people she's always been such a loyal person unless i'm being deceived let me know in the comments if i am and they all just treat her like shit all the damn time and it's really sad but what do I know I'm just a vlogger you can drag me in the comments if you want I might be misinformed I have missed a few episodes here and there so there might be some dyna dynamics that I don't 100% understand the same way that you do in which case let me know in the comment section down below as usual we'll chat you can also like this video subscribe for more share it with your friends if you want and feel free to follow me across social media as well where I do love chatting with you that's all for now and thank you so much for watching